Good morning guys, today is Wednesday. We're going to be working on the page 75 of the language book and on page 43 and 44 of the vocabulary and grammar book, okay? So, what do we have here? Buenos días para de familia, el día de hoy miércoles vamos a trabajar la página 75 del libro de language y la página 43 y 44 del libro de vocabulary and grammar. Okay, so what do we have here? It says... <clears throat> listening, listening section. So we have listened and write, okay? So we're going to listen and we're going to write the missing words, okay? Vamos a escuchar y escribir las palabras que faltan. Today, three dream experts are here to help us answer the question, why do we dream? But first, here's what our listeners had to say. Sarah, age 10, emailed us saying, I think we dream because our brains are working out what has happened during the day, and we see those things in our head when we are sleeping. Adam, age 11, said, In my opinion, we have dreams because there's something on our mind that we need to share with other people. Okay, so those are the words that are missing. Esas son las palabras que están... And now we're going to answer the questions. Are these statement facts or are they Sarah's and Adam's opinions? Are their opinions? Okay. They are. They are. No, we're going to leave it like, are their opinions, okay? But we're going to leave it like that. Vamos a dejarlo así para que sea más corto. Are their opinions, okay? And how do you know? Porque sabemos que son sus opiniones. Because are based on their experiences porque están basados en sus experiencias based no basis based ok like esas serían las respuestas de esta parte now, in the second part, we have identifying facts and opinions. Facts are statements that can be proved. Opinions are what people think or how they feel about something. Facts are always true. People can have different opinions. Listen for phrases that help you identify facts and opinions, okay? A fact can be started by, we know that, there is no doubt, it's true that, we are searching we are certain that and opinions can start with I believe, I think, in my opinion, it's my view that. Now, identificar facts que son eh, pues, factores reales, cosas que, o sea, son reales, y opiniones. Las opi eh, perdón, los facts, los factores son, eh, pues, eh, statements. Eh, son la palabra se me va <coughs> son cosas vamos a decirlo se me va el, el statement son cosas que son reales que pueden ser probadas ok opiniones son las opiniones son lo que las personas piensan o cómo sienten acerca de algo ok entonces los facts los factores son siempre verdad o sea es algo que es verdad por ejemplo um, algo que es verdad um, Girls Like uh, For example what, 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 what Girls like skirts Ok Las niñas nos gustan las faldas Es algo que es verdad Ok Es algo que es verdad Aquí y en cualquier otro país Now Boys Like uh, 
Boys don't like skirts. A los niños no les gustan las faldas, ¿ok? Eso es algo que es comúnmente, ¿verdad? Entonces, son facts, ¿ok? ¿Qué otro puede ser un fact? A chair is heavy. Una silla es pesada. Eso es un fact. ¿Entienden? Ahora, una opinión es que, por ejemplo, venga alguien y agarre una silla y ese alguien sea muy fuerte y no la sienta pesada. Entonces puede decir, en mi opinión, esta silla no es pesada. ¿Me entienden? Pero es la opinión de él porque él es súper mega fuerte. Pero una persona normal la sentiría pesada. ¿Por qué? Porque es algo real que las sillas son pesadas. Ahora, la, los factores pueden empezar con we know that. Nosotros sabemos que there's no doubt, no hay duda que it's true that, es verdad que we're certain about that, we're certain that, estamos seguros que. Las opiniones comienzan con I believe, yo creo, I think, yo pienso, in my opinion, en mi opinión, and it's my view that, it's mi punto que. ¿Entienden? Con eso comienzan las opiniones. Entonces hay que tener cómo diferenciar opiniones de verdades, de, de factores. ¿Ok? So we have here. Listening complete. Is it the true? Es el mismo audio, no. Es otro audio. So we're going to listen to this and we're going to answer, ¿ok? I'm here with dream experts Andrew White, Mary Williams, and Paul Jones. What do you all think about Sarah's and Adam's ideas? Well, those are their opinions, but the facts are more complicated than that. There is no doubt that we all dream. But we experts can't agree on why. We all have different opinions. Right. I believe that dreams have no purpose at all. They just happen. And I've spent my whole life analyzing dreams. It's my view that our brain is a big, random collection of information, emotions, and pictures, and some of them appear in your dreams. The brain twitches while you sleep, like your muscles do. That probably causes what you see in your dreams. I don't agree. I think dreams are a way of processing events and emotions in our lives. So, like a computer that you never switch off. Yes, exactly. Our brains are always on. Dreaming is the way our brain sorts information and puts it in the correct place or even in the trash. That's why I think dreams are important for our mental and physical health. Okay, so now we have the answers here. So the first one is a fact, number two is a opinion, number three is a opinion, number four is a fact, number five is an opinion, and number six is an opinion. Okay, you'll get a listen. Escuchamos el audio, ¿verdad? Que dijeron, no, yo creo que, yo pienso que, eso es una opinión. Pero si dicen, el cerebro viene y hace esto mientras uno duerme, eso es un fact, porque eso pasa, okay? It's true. So that will be all in the language. Eso sería todo en el de language. Y en el de vocabulary and grammar, we're going to work on page 43 and 44, right? Página 43 y 44. Okay, so that's the page. Oh my God, me pasé. Okay, so we have here. Look and read and write the correct relative pronouns. Okay, so number one. <clears throat> This is the excited elephant that is trying to get out through the window. Number two, this is the closet where a frightened girl is hiding from a friendly lion. Number three, this is the girl who is making friends with the baby elephant. And number four, these are the monkeys that took the boy hat. He's angry because they won't give it back. Number five, this is the boy whose paper is missing. He's very confused. Okay? Now, page 44 and 45. We have here, we're going to circle the correct options. Okay? So, aquí tenemos unas opciones, ¿verdad? Que vamos a circular. Y aquí las que yo pongo en verde en cada cajita son las que van a circular ahí. So, in the number one, it says, 
Everyone in my dream spoke a different language. I felt very confused. Number two. I was at a party and the lights went out. Everyone was afraid. Number three. In another dream, I broke my sis brother's bike. He wasn't, but he wasn't angry at me. Number four. I dream I got lost in the forest. I felt frightened until I woke up. Number five. My family was going on vacation to the moon. We are we were all so excited and happy. Number six. I dream I was at school in my pajamas. I was embarrassed. Number seven. I felt so peaceful in my dreams like last night. I was lying on a beautiful beach. Number eight, I dreamed I had to take a surprise exam and I got really stressed out. Number nine, in real life, I don't feel worried about exams because I study hard, okay? So, in the last part, we have complete the puzzle with the words in bold to find secret word, okay? What is a secret word? Aquí vamos a hacer el puzzle, okay? So, yo les voy a dar todas las respuestas, para que, pero ustedes deberían de hacerlo solito, ¿verdad? Yo por acá el video no me quede tan extenso, que ya un poquito largo. Entonces, yo les voy a poner las respuestas aquí, pero ustedes tienen que ir las buscando aquí. Por ejemplo, everyone in my dreams spoke different language and I felt very confused. Creo que confused es la que tienen que poner ahí. Sí. Entonces, para que les vaya quedando más, más claro, la palabra en negrita es la que ustedes van a ir escribiendo ahí. Entonces, quedaría así, miren. ¿Y ¿Cuál es la, la palabra escondida? Nightmare. ¿Qué es nightmare? Pesadilla. Y así vendría quedando. Eso sería todo por el día de hoy. Recuerden siempre, ¿verdad? Que lo pues, preferible es que ustedes me envíen esas tareas el día que es. Pero en cualquier caso llegasen a tener un atraso. La fecha límite es el viernes 8 de mayo. Eh, siempre de 7 de la mañana a 1 de la tarde. Cualquier circunstancia que llegasen a tener con, referente a las tareas, algo que no entiendan o algún atraso, ¿verdad? Por favor, hacérmelo saber. Espero estén gozando de mucha salud. Bendiciones. Nos vemos hasta el día de mañana.